Okay, this is a screen of the cathode ray oscilloscope. Treat this like a graph. Okay, treat this like a graph. So when it comes to graph, what you could do is the first thing you should do is to find the repeated pattern. Is there any repeated pattern? This one, sometimes the repeated pattern is very obvious. It's like some sinusoidal curve. But sometimes the repeated pattern is a bit hard to see, like this one. So I think I will treat this little nub here as the start of my repeated pattern. Okay? So if I look at this one, this one will go up, come down, go up, come down, and then the end. So this is one repeated pattern. And the pattern kind of repeats itself again here. Go up, come down, go up, and then it's supposed to come down, and then the end, but it doesn't fit into the screen. So look at a repeated pattern and then draw it out. This is a repeated pattern. Count the boxes. One, two, three, four, five. So there are five boxes, okay? And it says here, these are five cm squares. So one cm square. So five boxes is five cm. And the time base is set to two millisecond per cm. That means one cm, two millisecond. Two cm, four millisecond. So five cm, 10 millisecond. Or you could do this. Two millisecond divided by cm, multiply by five cm. Millisecond per cm. The cm, cm cancel out. And finally, what you have is 10 millisecond. Ooh. But this is period. Here to here happens to be your period. So they want to find frequency, right? So recall that frequency is 1 over period. So I'll take 1 over 10. Uh, don't don't noob. Uh. There's a prefix times 10 to the power of negative 3. Okay, so from here, you begin to get answer if it looks like 100. So this one is 100 hertz. So this is how you read the CRO. You find repeated pattern.